What are you doing? Cleaning. Obviously. Right now? Did you come out here to narrate? I came out here to pee. Charming. Why are you doing this now? Well, you know, I've been meaning to do it for days and I couldn't sleep, so I figured that now would be a really good time to just, you know, get it all done. Get it Did all... you take your meds? That's not relevant. Okay. Is this your ganache? Uh, maybe. Because you said that you were going to start labeling it after I used it last time. Which I th was I think an it's accident. Mine. You made that quite way. clear. You made that quite clear. Is this your asparagus? What? Ass. Asparagus. It's like flaccid celery, kind of. I've never bought asparagus in my life. Okay, well, I don't remember buying it. Can't this wait till the morning? Well, you're the one that's always complaining about how I never clean anything, and so I don't know why you're bitching about me doing it now. Okay. How long has this onion been in here? Oh my god, I don't know, Molly. All right, I don't keep an inventory. I just buy what I want and I eat it. Okay, well, it's a simple question. So just throw it out. I don't use onion. Yeah, because all you eat is raw pasta and raw carrots. R raw carrots are good for your eyesight. That's actually a myth that was created during World War II by the Allies to hide the fact that they had advanced technology. Oh my god, is that true? Yeah. Please, don't throw me away. Did you hear that? Yeah. It was I. It has been so long since I have had the strength to speak. But now, I must. Are you still hearing it? Yeah. I have waited in the cold for so long. Waited to fulfill my purpose. It took me many moons to see my path. I, I don't think Hold we on. should entertain this. I want to see where he's going with this. I was born on a small farm, many kilometers from here, cultivated by a man whose name I never knew. Oh my god, it knows the metric system. I spoke to another onion. He was like me, only larger, prouder. He told me that we had been born to bring man sustenance, that even a small piece of us, properly implemented, brought life to our creators. We shared many things. Hopes, dreams, even our bodies. Oh. Then I came to that holy place, that sacred temple where we waited to be chosen. Food, planet. One by one, my brothers and sisters were taken away, taken to fulfill their destiny. But I was left behind, unwanted. Soon, even the one I loved was taken from me, by a rotund woman dressed in purple. I pray that wherever he went, his life was given a delicious end. And then, when all hope seemed lost, you came. You, my sweet goddess. You took me from the basket, placed me into the bag and the other bag, carried me to your home. But then you put me in that cold, awful place. I knew that we were not meant to speak to our creators, but I longed to ask you, why? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you're not supposed to keep onions in the fridge. Yes, you are. My mom always did. Yeah, like in a container, just not loose. The cold made it impossible to speak. It sapped my strength. All I could do was watch and wait, frozen, day after day. I saw your face a million times, but you never chose me. Well, I just didn't really... Need an onion for anything. Then why did you take me? Why plague me with false hope? I didn't know there was going to be so much lore involved. And now what? You would throw me away? Like nothing? Like garbage? Uh, you are kind of mushy. The fault is yours. You left me there to rot. You let my belief become a poison. Before the cold, I was happy. I had hope. I had a family. I had a selfless, giving lover. Yeah, I'm, I'm still having a hard time with that part. And now, I have nothing. Only the promise of a slow death. Soon, I will be claimed by the great farmer who waits beyond this world. But he does not harvest onions. He harvests souls. And you, you giant monster, you have not robbed me of that. Your slave will not die in silence. My story will be told. You vile whore!
You are lucky I cannot fight back, or I would rip the eyes from your skull. I would feast on your heart, just as that purple woman feasted on the onion I loved. This is not the end. I will live on in your memory. Until the end of your days, you will remember. Uh, <coughs> no, I, I, I can't breathe. My, I can't feel a, a, anything. Oh God, he's still going. So, this is how it ends. The cold was all that kept me alive. Sweet, delicious irony. Oh, as delicious as I, uh, I see a light. Uh, Fernando, is, is that you? Well, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bed. Okay. Good night. Love you. Yep. You should know, golden boy.